Hi everybody, good morning, Pastor Joe here with your devotion. I want you to open your Bibles to 2 Timothy chapter 1, 2 Timothy chapter 1. We're going to start reading in verse 8 and verse 9. And the Bible says, Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but share with me in his sufferings for the gospel according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with a calling that is holy and separate, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. You know, the Apostle Paul writes here in reference to not being ashamed of our testimony and when he writes this he's actually in prison he's a prisoner he's in he's in the prison and he's writing a letter to his spiritual son timothy and to the church of emphasis and so when he's writing this he emphasizes to them to not be ashamed of the testimony of the lord upon their lives and do not be afraid of going through the sufferings that they were going through because they were proclaiming to be Christians in that time. Now, in that time, there were actual Christians that were proclaiming Christ and they were being martyred, they were being persecuted, they were on the run. There was a lot of things that were going on. Um, during this time as Paul sits in prison because of preaching the gospel um, many things are happening to all the other disciples and apostles and different people it's important for us to understand that these writings here are speaking about a specific time a, spe a specific era of time and um, it's uh, after the resurrection and ascension of Christ and it's about maybe 150 years after. And so there's a lot going on in reference to the gospel being spread. And also uh, the times were not pleasing for Christians during that time. And today we live in a time where the gospel of Christ is not welcome everywhere. And I'm not talking about welcome everywhere like we've always known, that it's not welcome everywhere throughout the world. There's countries that do not want the gospel of Jesus Christ proclaimed within their country. I'm talking about the gospel of Jesus Christ not welcomed within our own communities, within our own cities, within our own nation. And this is definitely a warfare that's taking place. Now, it's important that we understand that people will take, Christians will take a position somewhere along the line. Every single one of us will take a position within our Christianity. And within our Christianity, either we are going to become Christians that are Bible believing Christians and governed by our convictions because we are Bible-believing Christians, or our uh, Christianity is going to be governed by our emotions and the things we see and through the media and through the things that are going on throughout society. And we can get lost and get away from biblical principles, and we can allow the world to shape our Christianity. Then on the other side of it, We'll have Christians that are able to boldly stand on the word of God during some trying times, like the Apostle Paul is speaking, about not being ashamed of your testimony, not being ashamed to proclaim what needs to be proclaimed. And it's important to understand that in the times we live in now, there'll be Christians that will actually do that. They will be courageous enough to do that. 
And then there's Christians that will get quiet, that will go silent. And I've experienced a lot more people that have gone silent than people that I've seen take a stand. And it's kind of uh, grieving. It's, it's, uh, it's quenching. It's like people talk a big talk in their church. But in the world, they're afraid. In the, in the world that's going, that's lost, that is in need of the gospel, that is in need of a savior, that's not welcoming the message. Um, that's the place where we're, we're in need of sharing our testimony. Now, our testimony is directly connected to the gospel message of Jesus Christ. And we need to understand that our testimony, the story of your life and what happened to you in Christ is so important to be shared with other people. People are in the mindset right now that they don't want to hear anything about the Bible. But one thing they cannot deny is the evidence of who you are and what God has done in your life. And so when you share your story with people, they walk away with hope. They walk away with, 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 you know, having to struggle and wrestle with the thought of, is this a true story? Is this, did this really happen to this individual person that shared this with me? And like Jesus, there was many witnesses. There was many people that knew that person that shared that testimony that can put a check next to that person's name and say, yes, that is true. I remember that person. I know what they went through. I know what they were, how they were in, before Christ. I know this and I know that. And so they become witnesses to the very story that you're sharing of what God has done in your life. So it gives people inspiration, gives people hope. When we as Christians fall into a place of being ashamed of our testimony and silence ourselves, become quiet because of fear of not being uh, liked, not being a personality, not being accepted, not being embraced, and not wanting to be rejected, not wanting to be attacked, not wanting to be spoke down upon or disrespected. When we start making decisions based on those things, then we are robbing people of that inspiration through the through the transformation of what God has done in your life. Your story is his story. Your story is the gospel of Christ. And so we need to be a people that understand that we need to be sharing our testimony. Let me read another scripture to you. Romans chapter 1 verse 16. It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and for the Greek, for the black, for the white, for the Puerto Rican, for the Chinese. And you can go on and on and on and on and on. The truth of the matter is, is that our testimony plays a major role in getting the gospel shared in the lives of people. So, you might not have a, a, a many scriptures that you can throw around. There might not be a Bible story that you're able to share or have it right on, on the tip of your tongue. But your testimony about the power of God upon your life is so important. Share your testimony of Christ, with Christ with others. Share it. Let them know about the mess that once was and how God took your mess and turned it into your message. Share your victories, all right? Share your victories with others through Christ, that God took your tests, right? We talk about trials and tribulations, that God took your tests, your trials, your tribulations, and turned it into your testimony, that you're able to glorify God in the midst of all those negative things and how God stepped in and been able to give you those victories. And then also share the changing power of God with others, 
concerning things that you've encountered and things you've witnessed and other people's stories that you've been able to witness and share. It's important that we do not stay silent. The Bible is clear to not be ashamed. Now, why is this so important? The Bible says in Hebrews 11.1, 1, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things that are not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good testimony. Listen to me carefully. The scripture is powerful. You and I are the evidence of faith. We are the evidence that there is a changing power of God upon the land. And you and I need to be able to share that. There's a substance that's called hope that we need to inject into people. And the only way that hope can be injected into people is through the word of God and through the testimony of the saints. The evidence of things not seen. You are the evidence of things not seen. You had cancer, you don't have cancer no more. You, you were addicted, you're not addicted no more. You were once this, this, and that. And you are no longer that. You've been set free and transformed by the power of God. Whatever your story is, don't be ashamed. Now, can you say that? Can you say, I am not ashamed of the gospel and the story that God has given me? I am not ashamed of it. If you cannot say that honestly and be able to share it publicly then I want to encourage you to go over these scriptures and see that you and I have a responsibility before God to speak, to share with people in any place that we find people. 